It's a beautiful thing when you live by expression, when you're guided by intuition, when you're guided by your innate wisdom and your innate consciousness to know that you can be that reflection for everybody, but also you're setting an example using your ways of wisdom and service and love and admiration, but also your dedication, meaning that you have love for others and that when you're living your life, no matter what you are doing, you do it with a sense of care, you do it with a sense of belonging, and you do it with a sense of inclusion within everybody and how they feel and how they connect. So inclusion is exclusion. So we can look at this in many different ways. So we can look at this by our thoughts, by our feelings, by our past connections from the past, from past traumas. So we can allow ourselves to include the things that we want to really become, or we can include the things that we don't want to become. So I think being a good example and being a good Samaritan sometimes means that no matter how much you're being tested, no matter how much you're being shown how to relay, how to connect, and how to love, you allow yourself to love by that connection solely because you're choosing to use your expression in the way that you demonstrate your truth, your admiration, your love, and also your vitality, meaning that you have a youthful spirit and it doesn't mean that you have to be a young person or an old person either, but it just means that you have a spirit of bringing things together, bringing things to creation, bringing things and giving your time and your essence to it, meaning that you're a giver and not just a receiver. So a lot of us, we are either receiver or giver. So there's a fine balance of giving and receiving. So it's kind of like that friend that comes to you only when they want money, only when they want your time, only when they are really down and out. They always call upon you, but then when you call upon them, then they're like, ah, I don't want to help you. Well, then you have to put healthy boundaries, then you can't give. So that allows you to receive wisdom. So there's a healthy balance of give and receive within relationships. It's all dependent on how you look at it. So look at it with the intent with the intent of connection and love and respect. Respect your boundaries, have enough self-respect and self-love and self-care so that you give yourself that ability to not be pushed around or be walked all over.